What's up guys, back with another Honkai Star Wars video, and in this video we are going to talk about did the 5 star characters get replaced a bit too quickly on the standard banner. Now when I say replaced, I don't mean completely replaced in some regards, you know, Branya still has uses, Jeopard still has uses, you know, Himiko still has uses, all that good stuff, but when a character came out, they were directly compared to the five-star character that they had the same um, role as, right? And people were like, okay, this character is better. I'm going to use them instead, right? So that is who I'm comparing. For those of you who don't know, those would be Yanqing with Zele. Very unfortunate, by the way, because Zele is a day one unit. Violet with Luocha, Himiko with Jingyun, Clara with Blade. That one's a bit, like, I've seen debates from both sides that'll, you know, preach to the end of time that someone's better. I, unfortunately, don't have Blade, and I also don't have my Clara built, and I've seen, uh, like, pretty good arguments on both sides, so I'll keep that one unanimous so I don't get jumped. Um, Branya and Ruin Mei, Jeopard and Fushuan, that one I will talk about a bit later. And then the king at the top himself, Welt, who has actually yet to be directly replaced or have someone to rival his playstyle. Welt is lucky because his whole thing was, you know, just debuffs at the beginning and then the whole like slowing and imprisonment. No one does that yet. Most of the Hilly characters either lower defense or Silver Wolf does a couple more things than that, or you're a dot character. So he kind of got lucky and was able to just not really get touched there so sh shout out to Walt. i'm not saying Walt is by far the best five star out of the standard characters but he has a lot more use because he doesn't have someone he's competing with now i'll quickly go over the characters and who they're competing with and explain how rough it is for them so the first one is going to be jeopard and fushuan and while fushuan doesn't actually apply a shield so jeopard still has that w especially for yanqing even though yanqing is too great he needs a shield to not lose his passive and jeopard does that while fushuan cannot however in terms of actual you know keeping the team alive sustain fushuan is leagues leagues better she has effect resistance so if you get hit with a debuff you're good to go she has a lot more damage reduction than Jeopard, and it can be easily reapplied. Jeopard has to ult. Fuchuan also has a slight kill with her ultimate, making her a far better survival character than Jeopard, and personally, my number one unit slot, but we'll get into that in a different video. Then we have Branya and Ruin Mei. Branya is still very, very, very strong, but Ruin Mei has kind of just proved that if you have to pick between the two of them, most of the time you're going to pick Ruan Mei and Ruan Mei is more flexible in more teams because Branya isn't used on dot teams. Ruan Mei can be used on literally any team that exists. So she kind of got beat out there. Then the next one is Clara and Blade. Like I said, this one is debatable if Blade completely replaced Clara, but you can't deny that Blade is definitely more of a jack of all trades, has a lot of survivability, hits hard. So also they have both have counters right they're they're going to be compared right then we have himiko and jingyun and while jingyun isn't the greatest five star premium character they're both iridation they both do aoe's they both do follow-up attacks himiko has found a bit more use now that pure fiction came out but when jingyun was shown everyone was like okay well himiko is not too great jingyun will definitely be the guy to replace her then we have bailu and locha locha was pretty much a must summon for most people so that should explain how much better of a healer he was than bailu which is unfortunate because i really like bailu but locha just you can't compete then of course yanqing and zele yanqing unfortunately is not too terribly great and he hasn't aged great at all zele is still extremely 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 good not the best unit in the game anymore, but she's still really strong, and compared to Yanqing, it's like a no-brainer that he got replaced by her. Day one, by the way, very sad. But how does this fare with them being power crept? I will say, for obviously I can't compare Walt because he doesn't have a character yet. For Yanqing, it was way too quick. Yanqing also had a very terrible kit, and most of the time when you finally get his damage off, it doesn't really feel rewarding enough because it's just not enough the fact that you have to make sure he's not hit you have to get follow-up attacks if you have e1 
like I do, I'm pretty sure it's E1, might be E2 if, if I'm mistaking them. You have to have the enemy frozen. There's a lot of setup. And the reason why I bring E1, E2 is because a lot of people will have these characters E1, E2 because they've lost 50 50 a lot. <laughs> Me. Um, but the damage just is not there. And the fact that Zele was a day one character, so most day one players have her. I Unless you're me, because I skipped her because I lost my 50 50. We love 50 50s, woo. Um, you pretty much just had a better character off rip. They're both hunt, so you just gave all your stuff to Zele once you got her, right? Obviously, your relics are debatable, but most of the time, people at the beginning of the game just have the generic relics. You just give her a light cone, and you're good to go. You just have a better character off rip, so Yanchin just aged instantly, which is rough. Then you have Vilu and Lelocha, Lelocha's banner came out pretty quickly and Bailu pretty much just disappeared instantly um Bailu had a bit of use because Natasha had the cleanse Bailu had the healing you would just run whatever one was better on what stage and then Locha came out and it did both of their jobs better than them so Bailu kind of just got hard replaced but she had a bit little bit of use on the second team now that's not really the case because you have characters like Fushuan, Lynx, a lot of people have more dupes on Natasha, so people are using Natasha with Bailu. And not having a way to cleanse really hurts Bailu, so she kind of just isn't really used unless you don't have a better option, which is unfortunate. So she also didn't age really great at all. Like, a four-star is better than her most of the time. That says a lot. Um, I mean, to be fair, Himiko also has a four-star who's better than her, but we won't get into that. Next up is Himiko. Jingun was the second banner, and he pretty much just did her job better. His follow-up attack hit harder. His ult hit harder. He just was cooler as well. Sorry, the Lightning Lord is sick. Um, luckily for Himiko, she kind of bounced back with Pure Fiction. She is better than Jingun in Pure Fiction. She's really, really, really strong, so she did get a little bit of a bounce back. But in any other mode, Himiko is just not used really. Like her use percentage in MOC is very, very, very low. So she kind of just fell off. And especially with characters like Jin Yun, you would just pull for him instead and use him. Like I had Himiko, I was going to build her, and then I got Jin Yun, and I kind of just pushed her off to the side. Also, QQ being a thing, a lot of people just opted to build QQ for their Iridation character instead. And she is extremely strong at E6. And since she's a four star, she's pretty easy to E6. So people just did that. So Himiko didn't last that long either. And this is like the second banner, right? Like Luosha, Zele, Jingyun. These are like four. What? Luosha was like the fourth banner, right? Because it was Zele, Jingyun, Silver Wolf, Luosha. Like <laughs> four banners in, and three of the uh, original five stars are already just not used, or they have a way better replacement. Then Blade comes out after the Locha, and there's some debatableness with that, but he's a direct equivalent to Clara because, you know, they both want to be hit, they both have counters, Blade heals, Clara doesn't, but Clara does more damage, Clara has a taunt, Blade unfortunately doesn't. They kind of have the same gist of wanting to have a good amount of HP to live hit, and then, you know, still do damage with their counters. I still think Blade in my head is a bit better just because he has his own healing. I've noticed my Clara is getting a little low and you have to like really get on her healing or have her like when that heals her a little bit. But direct competition instantly, even though it is not debatably, you know, better, you know, still competition right off the rip. She just was able to fend it off a bit better. Then we have Ronmei and Bronya. Ronmei is a more recent character, so Bronya actually survived pretty long. But unfortunately, she got hard checked. Um, if you, like I said before, if you have both of them, you're probably picking Ronmei for the team, unless you know the other team wants Ronmei. Like if you could clone Ronmei, you're using her on both teams. Bronya also can't be used on Dot too efficiently, but Ronmei can be used on any team. So. She got hard checked. Branya definitely was a fine release. You can still use her very strongly today. And her competition slash replacement didn't happen for so long. So I think this is a fine pass. Jeopard, my boy. Like I said, shields. Shields. Oof. That sucks. Um, he kind of got away with not having a replacement. Sustainers, definitely better sustainers came out. Luocha, Fushuan, 
his job kind of just like you know hit a rough spot his shield is still very strong he just can't get it out enough but there are no other shielders so he doesn't have a direct direct competition you would either be using the fire mc which their shield is definitely not good enough or march and she has a single target shield so jeopard kind of just rules the land of the shields for now until adventuring comes out with a preservation character with shields so uh yikes your your time is not that long so it's a little bit of a did Jeopard really get replaced that quickly, or was he just not good enough from the get-go? You can debate. I think Jeopard was definitely good, but the fact that this sustainer role can also go to a healer did not help him whatsoever, and Fushuan kind of just dropped in and made all of them irrelevant. So overall, the consensus is the five stars didn't really age well. I'm going to be honest with you. The fact that three of them instantly aged out frame one, Jeopard also being a sustained character, having to compete with Abundance characters as well for his job, also kind of aged a bit quickly. The content just wasn't needed for him. So you're left with Welt, who doesn't have a replacement, but his job isn't needed, and a lot of people don't use him too often. Uh, Clara, who has direct competition with Blade, who blade is easier to get because he's not a standard banner character and then Branya, who aged the best but is now having competition you have three characters out of the seven that are replaced within the first few banners of the game like we're not even a year in i wouldn't expect all these characters to be like the best ones still but the fact that a lot of them get hard checked already it's a bit rough. Um, will they add more five-star characters to the standard banner pool? I know Genshin has, but I'm not too sure if Star Wars will follow in that footsteps yet. I would definitely be appreciative of that. Maybe they'll add Dr. Ratio to the standard banner pool just because he was free, but he also was a premium banner character. We'll have to see with that one. Definitely would be opposed though, because I'd love to pull more five-star characters and not be bummed out. Like if I pull Yanching, I'm gonna be like, oh, that sucks. If I pull by a little bit, like, okay, I don't use her because I have better characters. Himiko, debatably, right? Because pure fiction. Clara, I don't have Blade, so it's like, okay, you know, Branya, I'll be very mad because it'll be E3, like, unfortunate. Jeopard, I'll cry, right? Well, you know, I'll be fine with that, but it does hurt when a lot of these characters, I wouldn't say are must summons, but are definitely characters that the community has summoned for because they know they're good or they're popular and then you know it hurts more when you pull a five star that is you, you know you lost 50 50 and it's hard to get hyped because you know the characters just aren't as good or you have someone that's better so you just straight up don't use them anymore but on that that would pretty much be it for the video let me know what you think of the original five stars in the comments do you think it's fine that they're replaced this quickly do you think some of them aged a little too quick do you think that they're just fine? Like all characters, like you can clear anything with any character basically, but you can't deny that some characters just do it better, right? So of course, let me know what if you think they aged off and a bit too quick and all that good stuff. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content and I'll catch y'all in the next one.